Welcome back. Turns out that I wasn't seeing things after all. I officially have O3 Mini and O3 Mini High. Yesterday, while I was fiddling with GPT, I did have an option to use more intelligence. And boom, when I wanted to make a quick YouTube video, it kind of vanished. I thought GPT has pulled a fast one on me and I was hallucinating, but looks like it's not. This video is not going to be testing different models. I just wanted to see which AI model should you actually use. Is this in response to DeepSeek R1 and should you even be paying $20 for GPT right now? Um, I do have some benchmarks that I'm going to go over, but you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at what GPT 03 Mini. I don't know why they have such confusing names. First, they have 03 Mini Low, which is absolutely free. Where is it? Yeah, they do have O3 Mini Low, which is basic faster, basically faster, but less powerful. So it's not available in ChatGPT, but I don't know why they throw it in here just to confuse us. And then we have O3 Mini Medium. That's a balanced version. Now, this is for default and free users. And O3 Mini High is, uh, they claim to be absolutely best model, but takes longer to think. And I'm again assuming, this is just my assumption, that they are coming up with an answer for DeepSeek R1 because they want to compete and they know DeepSeek is kind of creating chaos on the internet. So as of right now, you probably are best if you try your O3 Mini Medium with your absolutely free account. Now let's take a look at different benchmarks here. And clearly O3, let me go ahead and this is for um, the math competition, O3 Mini High definitely dominates the score. And here also we have the Google proof question and answers. It O3 Mini again is dominating all of this one. And O1 Pro with $200 plan, I don't know if anybody wants to spend all that money where you can have better performance with your $20 or absolutely free account. And here is the Frontier Math numbers, the Code of Force, where they host all this coding um, competitions. And this is the ELO score, which is technically comparing a performance between the two LLMs or between the LLM models. This ELO score is used by chess players. It's comparing the task and performance between one another. And that's how technical it's going to get today. And we, are, we have O3 Mini, O3 Mini Medium, and O3 Mini High. Why do they have this weird names? And why can't they just, I don't know, why can't they just use numbers? Um, O3 Mini, O01, and they skipped O2 because there is a company in Europe. And now we have O3 with lows, mediums, and highs. Uh, pfft, yeah. So then we have the SWE score, which is a Google, GitHub repository one. And here we have O3 Mini again leading the score. So which one, which AI should you be using? Uh, well, honestly, right now, let me go back here. I did not try these, but if you are a free user, you have O3 Mini. And if you are a plus user, you have O3 Mini High. For me, I would just try O3 Mini first if you're a free user and you also have DeepSeek. And if you are an educator, if you are a student, then you do have option of DeepSeek with perplexity. And I personally wouldn't pay, but I pay because I do have a lot of uh, GPTs that I created for myself. So that's why I pay a $20 plus account, not a pro account. I can't afford that much. But um, yeah, I honestly think if you're on a free plan, just use ChatGPT. You now have O3 mini medium and you know it's so confusing O3 mini medium O3 mini low and it's better than deep seek maybe I don't know I didn't test it out but give it a shot at least your servers are in US and not in China and there is no censorship I actually don't know if I'm a pro or against censorship at least I can see what they are biased about but if you're paying $20 a month, then switch to O3 Mini High. This is the best model available as of now when you're using ChatGPT. And here is a human performance evaluation in STEM. This is what I always look at because I'm a math instructor. And as you can see, O3 Mini is uh, mini medium. Oh my God. Mini medium is low. And here I have O3 Mini medium for non-STEM. Scrolling down, this is... O1, O3 mini, but why? Why is this so confusing? Why can't it be as simple as possible? I cannot imagine explaining this to my students and I'm getting confused myself. Um, as of now, I don't have 
O3 mini high scale. Well, I only have O1 mini and O3 mini medium here. I honestly feel like this is a tongue twister. So let's go back here and here you have O3 mini, O3 mini high. It really clearly says great at coding and logic. And this is fast and advanced reasoning. Give it a shot. Comment in the comment section below if you have tried this. This is what I'm going to be doing in the next few days. Now, coming back to the same question, what AI should you be using if you are on a free plan? Then I personally recommend use ChatGPT O3 mini. Let's go back. Come on. Yeah, where are they? Where are all the minis and non-minis? And yeah, if you are a ChatGPT free user, then I would suggest using O3 mini medium. If you're paying $200, then uh, you will be using O3 mini high. Is that what I have? These names are so confusing. Yes, and I don't know what the $200 people are getting. I, I don't know if they're getting O3 mini high high or O3 mini highest or Mount Everest. I'm really not sure. O3 Mini can make your life easier if you're studying and research and need math help, coding and debugging, business and finance, writing and translation, because they do have a lot of information here. Um, so pick, try, test it out before you start paying for something and just comment in the comment section below which one are you using or are you paying for O3 Mini High? Until then, Happy teaching and please take care of yourself. And I'm so glad I was not hallucinating yesterday and I knew somewhere that OpenAI was pulling a plug and trying to do something different just to make sure they come up on that or they lead the AI competition or the benchmark compared to DeepSeek. And again, I think this is their way of topping the chart again.